name is Sarah and in today's video I will be talking about step by step how to become a dentist in the US as a foreign graduate. Um, I will be talking about how you can get your degree evaluated uh, by a US institute and then I will also be talking about all the exams necessary for you to take in order to qualify to apply to dental schools in the US. So if you are thinking about becoming a dentist in the US and you are already a dentist in your home country, I hope this video will be helpful for you. So let's get started. Um, the first step that you need to do after graduating from a program in your home country is to have your dental, you receive your dental degree, your dental transcript and your dental diploma. Now, uh, you will take those and then you will send them to an institute in the US. There are two institutes that deal with international dentists. Uh, there is the ECE and then there is the WES. Now, uh, the ECE uh, is actually Educational Credential Evaluators. They're actually more well known than the WES in an essence that they work with more schools and more schools will ask you for ECE rather than WES. So my recommendation is go ahead and uh, do your uh, send your transcript and diploma to ECE and then um, like along the process if you have uh, if you apply to any of the school that will need WES you can do that later. But as a first step you will uh, be doing the ECE evaluation. Um, uh, you will need, um, I would recommend to ask for few copies from them just because uh, when you do it, you get, you will be able to receive uh, multiple copies at a lower price. However, when you ask for additional copies later, which you will need them for dental school applications, um, they will charge you more for it. So if it's possible, just ask for like a few copies from the beginning. Um, also, your uh, transcript and your uh, dental diploma have to be translated by uh, a US, um, they have to be in English. So if they are in a language uh, other than English, then they have to be translated by um, a translator that is a member of the American Translators Association. And I will leave the link down below in the description box, just so that you can see um, you can see where to look for if your um, uh, if your dental diploma is not in English. So the second step you will need to do is to apply to uh, the in Integrated National Board uh, exam, and I have a complete video on how to study for that. But in general, you will go to the MBDE website and then you will apply for exam now in order to apply for the exam you will need something else called dent pen uh, i will also leave uh, the link for that dent pen actually i will also leave the link for the dent pen down below in the description box and that is uh just uh it's like a unique identifier number for each student uh for each dental student in the us and you will use this number in order to apply for the exam for uh, your IMBD exam. And um, once you're done with that, you can easily just, once you do your dent pen and you apply for the MBDE, you can easily just schedule a day for your exam. The uh, third step that you will need to do is to take your TOEFL exam. And uh, once you, so for the TOEFL exam, it's um, like, a lot of schools now are recommending high score so if you study hard and you aim for above 90 that will be great and if you think that you're not at this level yet maybe you can try the exam multiple times to make sure that you can achieve a higher score because um, since the process is getting more competitive, a lot of schools are asking for uh, very high scores, including like maybe sometimes scores even higher than 100. So um, I feel that taking the exam multiple times really help you get a higher score because you'll get used to the environment of the exam and uh, you'll for sure practice more. Um, after the TOEFL exam, you will have to 
um so you can so you have two options after finishing your TOEFL exam you can go ahead and start applying if you have a decent profile from your home country and if you have been practicing for many years and if you think like uh your profile is great also as a fresh graduate if you think that you have been involved in like so many things in your home country and you think that you have a good profile to apply to dental schools you have the option to go to CAPED and start an application there their cycle usually start on march on of every year so um you can start an application and just check the requirements for each school and apply for each school and you have a second option the second option is to actually improve your competitiveness as an applicant and um in order to do that you have to be looking for ways in the u.s to improve your uh self so there are so many opportunities in the u.s for foreign graduates and for foreign dental graduates to improve themselves you can be um doing dental assistant you can be working as a research assistant you can be involved um maybe in um just basically anything you can be doing any extracurricular activities in order to expand your experience and also if you don't want to do that and if you don't want to work maybe you can do like a master degree or you can do a preceptorship any academic um like something that you think that can improve your profile and help you becoming a more competitive uh applicant in this cycle so once you're done with all those steps, the only thing you have left is to apply to dental schools. There are multiple options you have here. You can be applying, you can apply to a two years dental program, which is the most well known and the safest option out there, which is um, it's a two years dental program. Some schools have it for more than two years, but you will have an either DDS degree or DMD degree, which basically there is no difference between them at all. And uh, after those two years, you can uh, work as a dentist anywhere in the US. However, um, there are also other opportunities for uh, some people. You can be applying to programs such as GPR and AEGD and uh that program can be for one year or two years and there are also a few states that will allow you to work as a dentist if you complete these programs also another way is to apply to specialty program it's also for two years and you will be working as, rather than a general dentist you will actually be working as a specialist in the u.s um for like the rest of your life so you can be working as a general dentist again and the final option you can try for the limited license that they have available in the u.s it's only available in minnesota and i think in and um i think in boston as well but um i don't have much information about boston um I will be uploading more detailed video in like how to apply to AEGD and GPR and specialty programs in the US because I uh, I don't have uh, like something in detail. I don't want to make this video long to be honest and I don't have um, like something in details that talks about these specialty programs. So that will be a good topic to talk about later. Um, and yeah, after applying, after finishing those two years program, you will only be doing, um, the license exam at your state and you will be allowed to work as a dentist in the U.S. It's actually, uh, I know that it's like a long process and, um, it does take some time, but, um, I just, I think that if you, if you have an, uh, enough knowledge uh, about the whole process from the beginning, that will help you a lot know where to focus at with each step. It will help you understand uh, like more about what's changing and what they're requiring and all of that. Um, I will make sure to link everything I said right now in the description box so you can go to the website and read more about the information. Um, also, there's just one thing that I forgot to mention, which is when you apply to dental schools, you will receive an interview and then most schools will ask you for a bench exam. So also, if your hand skills is not great, um, investing in a bench exam course is a very good idea. Um, and that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions and um, I hope that I wish you guys all the best of luck. Thank you for watching.